out of the race for the White House and the latest from Donald Trump in what has become an increasingly bitter feud with Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton. This time, Trump is calling out her husband for having extramarital affairs. Trump tweeted last night, quote, Hillary Clinton has announced that she is letting her husband out to campaign, but he's demonstrated a penchant for sexism so inappropriate. When asked about that on Fox News this morning, here's what he said. She's playing the woman's card, and it's like, give me a break. And I've had so many women come up to me say, uh, you've got to keep her out. She is just terrible. She's playing that woman's card left and right, and women are more upset about it than anybody else, including most men. Trump was referring to an interview, a recent one, that Hillary Clinton did in which she attacked him for using off-color slang to describe her 2008 loss in the primary. She was going to beat Obama. I don't know who would be worse. I don't know. How does it get worse? But she was going to beat. She was favored to win. And she got schlunged. She lost. It's not the first time he's demonstrated a you know, penchant for sexism. And so uh, I'm not sure, again, anybody's surprised that he just keeps pushing the envelope. Joining me now is Kate Bonner. She co-authored the book, Trump, The Art of the Comeback, with Donald Trump. And when you look at this, be before all of this, he claimed that he, he hadn't really gone after Clinton. But I want you to, to look at this. This is how he's hitting her now. He tweeted, Hillary, when you complain about a pension for sexism, who are you referring to? I have great respect for women. Be careful. I'd love your take as someone who knows Donald Trump, who has worked with him extensively on this book, on those words, be careful, and now saying that Clinton is playing the woman card. What do you make of be careful? That, to me, is what he is probably saying to himself. Knowing Donald Trump as I do, again, it was uh, we worked together quite a long time ago, but knowing, knowing that Mrs. Clinton is putting her former her husband, former President Clinton, on the on the trail with her is definitely going to terrify him as it would anyone. Terrify I him. mean, I, I'll tell you why. I work in finance, big banking, uh, with the one percent one percenters, many of whom are Democrats, but they always so many of them say among he's among the best presidents ever. Bill Clinton is intensely popular in you this mean country. Many of them who are Republicans say yes. that, that yes. Clinton is one of, was one of the best presidents. Exactly. And so just the notion, I think, for Mr. Trump that he is going out on the trail is a big threat. And I think we know enough about Trump to know that when he gets threatened, he really goes for, you know, the jugular. I think it's interesting. Let's look at these numbers, right? This is a recent CNN ORC poll matchup between Clinton and Trump in a, in a hypothetical general election. You've got Clinton just edging him out there at 49 percent for either of them to win. One thing is clear, they need the backing of female voters. And you heard Trump say on Fox News this morning, women are more upset than anyone about what Hillary Clinton is doing, saying she's playing the Trump card left and right. What, what's your take on that? First of all, I don't know that to be true. I, don't, I haven't heard that from an independent source, um, that women are terribly upset about um, Mrs. Clinton. What I do think is that, um, again, I'll go back to my original point, that. Uh, President Clinton, he plays very well with women. He plays very well with voters. And this is, it's sometimes with Mr. Trump, I think it has less almost to do with the exact comment, with the content. It has more to do with how vociferous the remark is. Mm -hmm. And in this case, I was surprised. And I'm not usually surprised by anything he says, truly. But I was surprised that he brought up th this up and, and went for the jugular well, in such a clear. fashion. I mean, he was asked on Fox this morning, is this fair? And he said, yes, it's fair, indicating that we're going to keep doing this as a camp. Yes. Is, is that a smart strategy, do you think? Here's the thing. Mr. Trump built his or multi-billion dollar organization with certain character traits, right, that are acceptable on Wall Street. They're acceptable in big banking. That is being ruthless. That is being, you know, very savvy, having the ability to build a consensus, you know, getting a huge crowd, um, those sorts of skills of being a bit conniving. I mean, I see that every day on Wall Street. So now I think he's employing the same tactics, the same strategies as he did to build the Trump organization, again, a multi-billion dollar uh, company, in political life, and I don't think people are used to it. Very few people 
uh, not the majority certainly, work in big banking and big finance. So they don't often hear or see about what goes on behind closed doors, which is vicious, which is ruthless. And now all of those traits that allowed him to be so successful in the business realm, he's employing in the political sphere, and there are a lot of people watching. Well, let's not forget that famous photograph of the Clintons at Donald Trump's wedding yes. to his, his current wife, that famous photo, and now look what has transpired.